Hello, this is Giles Peterson, and we're just about to get the ball rolling for the Worldwide Awards 2011 here at Coco's in Chalk Farm. Um, it's our eighth event, eighth year running that we're putting on a big celebration of the music that I play on my radio show. And this year I think is the most ambitious and the most exciting year today. We've got eight live bands, we've got a couple of special guests, loads of DJs. We've got Jerry Dammers who's going to be picking up the John Peel Play More Jazz Award, deservedly so. Of course he's been working on all that two-tone stuff back in the day, the specials, and most recently doing the Spatial AKA Orchestra. We've also got a special guest, Flying Lotus, coming over from Los Angeles, which is going to be amazing. We've got a lot going on backstage. Every band is going to be playing between 20 and 30 minutes. It's going to be hype. It's going to go until three. I'm hoping we can get a little extension because I've got a feeling we might be a little bit over. Um, big crowds, sold out. That's the way we love it. Come in. Mount Kimby and James Blake, that's who I need to be. The front row of Brick, if we get in the time. Anyhow, who else? A left, a left though. Yeah, normally we play about one hour when we play live, and today we had only 20 minutes, so we had to select the best tracks or the tracks which fitted the most to to catch the people or whatever. And we also shortened all the tracks so it was kind of a really really squeezed version and we were like okay we have 20 minutes let's do it. There is no space, there is no space, there is no time, there is no time, there is no space. There is no space, there is no time, there is no time, there's only here, there's only here, there's only now, there's only here, there's only now. won an award and I didn't make it <laughs> and uh, and the year before Steve Reed played and I was booked somewhere else and I couldn't couldn't come and I think he hung out with like Theo Paris that night and yeah it seemed to be quite a legendary thing so I feel very happy that I'm finally here and it seems to be one of the like biggest ones there's ever I can remember there being somehow. <laughs> I don't know 
about my love anymore. All that I know is it's turning, 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 turning. Uh, album comes out February uh, 7th, and after that, I've kind of just planned to keep doing what I've been doing, really, which is being at home, writing. And I mean, I know that's probably going to be just disrupted a bit by touring and all the other stuff that I'll be doing. 2011, um, loads and loads of stuff coming on the label. We've got um, an album from Sepulchre coming, we've got an album from Sire, hopefully later in the year. Fingers crossed we can finish it. Uh, he's dressed for the wedding. It's Steve Flying Lotus. <laughs> meant to be you know I, if, if there's a Giles event I'm probably gonna get sick before I get there There's lots of different elements to my set because my show, even though it's all kind of linked with Eastern flavours, as it were, from the subcontinent and obviously from wherever in the world people are bringing those flavours to their music, it's a real mashup of styles. You know, drum and bass, dubstep, house, bhangra, Bollywood. You know, it's all there, and it's kind of figuring out what not to play. Sorry, Joseph, my pussy game is way too mean. I touch a nigga, comma, suit your cousin. 